When I was taken to Gaza, I was kidnapped. I was caught three times. And the last time, I was caught by 13 Hamas terrorists. 13. He doesn't have to. Don't force him. I just want him to hear it. He's a person. He is entitled to have his own agenda and opinions. We do not have to have the same opinions. I just want you to know the facts that you talked about, really. Right before the debate started, I wanted to ask you where you're from. Are you from here, from the US? Okay, I visited the US. I have the facts because I've been here. Have you visited Israel before? No. Have you visited Gaza before? Probably not. When he asked you what is a Palestinian and you couldn't answer it, then I'm asking you what is a Gaza, what is a Gaza civilian? Can you answer me? I will answer to you. When you're advocating for that, and I'm telling you, you're advocating for not have rights, for women to not have rights, because women do not have rights in the Arab society. You're advocating for people you know, you're talking about genocide? Well, I'm here to say, when October 7 happened, and that's a fact, they told me it in the inside. They didn't know about the Nova Festival music. They didn't know that we had 3,000 people in there. They planned, and they told me that, they planned to move on and kill as much as they could in Be'er Sheva, in Tel Aviv, in Haifa, they wanted to slaughter everybody. You know what? Maybe you will not believe me. I can present you my videos that I took there. Do you know how many bodies I saw? Do you know how many bodies were there? Do you know how much violence was taken on me? I was caught in the middle of a lynch. When I was entering Gaza, and I, I told you before, I have Arab suppliers, I have har Arab neighbors and Arab friends. When I was entering Gaza, and there is a video of that, I saw 100% of civilians celebrating me being taken. I didn't know about the other hostages. I thought it was only me. I didn't know about that. All I saw is 100% of civilians lynching me, beating me up. I was with a broken leg. I had bruises all over my body. Do you know that I've never cursed them? I've never argued with them. And I've never treated them like garbage. I respected them, even when they abused me. Because I believe that if I want to be respected, I have to respect everybody else. So I'm asking you one thing and one thing only because I see you're not comfortable. I'm asking you to check facts on both sides. It makes life better. And I had the privilege to be on both sides. And I told you, I started from a place that I didn't watch the news for 11 years just because of that. Talk to people, private conversation, that's the real facts.